Hello guys, my name is Asmaran and yes, I am buzzing. Yes, I'm absolutely overexcited. Well overexcited, extremely overexcited. Um listen, you know, you've seen the thumbnail. I am buzzing. And the reason being is there was a lot of controversial, there was a lot of um reports, there was a lot of um alleged news. Um Websites saying this, journalists saying that, um, ESPN saying this, and CBS, Fox News, like all these, there's all sorts of stuff saying we'll be pretty shocked or pretty, pretty surprised that we will, um, uh, that the teams will go in internationally because it has been on, um, as we've seen, it's been heard that. All 32 teams in eight years will have to go to Mexico and uh, England and to do the games. Uh, but I, I like the way that it was going and because of COVID and the pandemic and the whole world is going up, down, left, right and centre. We don't know what's going on. Um, no one knew. No one, everyone thought it would be not this season but next season. But guess what? You saw it by the thumb now and here we are. This is it. NFL returning to London with two games in 2021. Jets and Falcons, Dolphins and Jags. That's really good and fair fair play. And, you know, I put my hand to them. Well played. Because it's hard, of course, for you know people in London, like me, one of them, it's, it's hard just to, you know, to get out, have a day off and go to these games. Because, like I said, I work in hospitality. It'll, um, next week, everyone's allowed to be in indoors because now the lockdown is easing off slowly and it's going well. And, um, yeah, we'll be eating indoors. Hugging's allowed. Shaking hands is allowed. Everything's allowed. So, yeah, we'll be pretty busy from next week all throughout. And then apparently in late June, um, it should have been eased off. Everything goes slowly back to normal. You can do what you want, when you want, how you want. So, yes, big times for the hospitality industry. And, of course, I'm in it. It's going to be pretty hard. But this is amazing. Like, what I'm seeing now, this is great. This is wicked. And I'm actually buzzing. And um, for an exclusive for you guys, I'm going to both these games. Now, because of the tickets, I think they might do... Um, um, a limited people, but I'm putting my head down. I'm saving odd just for you guys, so I can record it for you guys and stick up my channel. Uh, I want to see these games. I really do. So I'll shut up and I'll get into the articles. The articles on the NFL.com slash news. This is by Grant Gordon, the NFL.com digital content editor. NFL returning to London with two games in 2021: Jets, Falcons, Dolphins, Jags. So. London's calling once again for NFL action and the league is answering with a pair of games in the 2021 season. Which of them uh, boasting promising quarterback matchups and top picks from the uh, 2021 NFL draft class? <coughs> Following a season in which the COVID-19 pandemic forced the cancellation of the, international, the NFL's international schedule, the league uh, hands back overseas in week five with the new... Uh, with the New York Jets facing the host uh, Falcons and in week six for a Miami Dolphins Jacksonville Jags showdown. 2021 number two overall pick Zach Wilson and the Jets will play in London for only the second time and the first since 2015 when they play the host Falcons and quarterback Matt Ryan on Sunday, October 10th at 9.30 a.m. ET from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and airing on NFL.com. Uh, like the Jets, the Falcons will be making their second trip across the Atlantic, uh, having previously, uh, previously played in London in 2014. The 2021 uh, number one pick, Trevor Lawrence, and the Jags will host 2020 number five pick, Tua TT, on the Dolphins on Sunday, October 17th at 9.30 a.m. ET on CBS from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, while Lawrence is set for for his first trip to play in London, the Jags will play for an in, uh, NFL record eighth time in England. Their streak of consecutive seasons playing an international game have been snapped at seven due to the uh, coronavirus pandemic. 
No strangers to international play themselves, the Dolphins are going to England for the fifth time. Dating back to 2007, the NFL has been uh, been touring to England to showcase games for a growing fan base. That tradition was postponed like many things during a turbulent 2020. But the NFL is back in London in 2021 and some of the league's brightest young talent is taking their centre stage. Trust me, this is great. So Sunday, October 10th. New York Jets and Falcons, 9.30 a.m. ET, NFL Network. Sunday, October 17th, Miami Dolphins, Jags and Jacksonville, 9.30 a.m. ET, CBS. Both games at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So I don't think you understand this to me. And plus, we had it at Wembley Stadium and Tottenham Stadium. Um, If you want my advice, because I've been to both, I went to the 2019 games as well. I went to one with uh, a friend, uh, a, a boss from work to see the one at Wembley. Nope, that was from my dad. I got it wrong. So I, so I went to one with Wembley with my dad, Wembley Stadium, and I went with my boss who um, at the Tottenham Stadium. Um, if you want my proper advice, even though if you're, you know, even if you're coming abroad from international Europe and you see this video, my advice is Tottenham Hotspur is the best stadium against Wembley. Um, it's a couple of quid difference, nothing really biggie, but it's the stadium itself. Tottenham Hotspur is probably one of the most nicest stadiums around here, and I mean that. And I know the reason being is, you know, you go on the ground floor, and I'll show you a picture now. As you can see, the ground floor is stunning, and the tellies are above. So when you see that picture, like the tellies are ab- like there's m- like mini monitors that will show every single game throughout, and yeah, I think you'll get to see it before about an hour or two before it shuts. But this season, I'm not too sure because of the corona and everything. But yeah, when you like a few years ago when I went with my boss, we watched the game finish. Went downstairs, straight onto the ground floor, and there was, you know, there was tellies everywhere, fans sitting down, beer downstairs on that ground floor, food, and you, and we're watching every game going. So much fun, so much fun to watch. But yeah, even if you wait in queue for a line for a beer or a burger or a hot dog, there's a telly everywhere around the stadium. I think that you know, there's you can't miss nothing. So if you're in a queue. And you think, oh, God, quick, you know, the time's coming up. End of the first quarter or so forth. And you're in, can you miss it? You ain't going to miss it. It's there. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. They've got tellies everywhere. You cannot miss it. Wembley Stadium don't have that. They don't have nothing. You've got a rush everywhere and you'll miss. Like, so even if you drink alcohol, which I'm a big fan you know, of drinking alcohol. If you, you know, you need to go to the toilet, mate, you've got a whole, like, if you're that, <laughs> that desperate, you've got to go. There's no TVs. You, you'll miss everything around that stadium. Tottenham Hotspur is the best stadium. So that's just my advice. Um, so I'll shut up. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. I'm going to put my head down, save hard, and I want to kick ass for the two games. And I'll probably do the same as I did. One, you know, my dad's never been, so that'd be good to take him there. Uh, you know, I've I've signed up to every single website for tickets and everything just to get there but i'll let you know how that goes um thanks for very uh, thank you very much for watching and everything um hope you like the article um leave your comments tell me what you think is it good for the international teams to come over um will you will you guys be excited because i know i am very hard to you know at least the nfl's coming over here the, the fan base is huge over here like every game is rammed rammed packed so we've got a good fan base and more growing in uh, in England, in London. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Leave your comment. Um, I want to hear what you guys got uh, got to think about it. Um, and subscribe. Thank you very much to the subscribers, 29 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Really humble and fortunate to have you guys with me, subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe, guys. I'll be doing a lot more 49ers news as much as I can during the weekdays, as long as possible. And uh, yeah, thank you very much once again, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.